Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are back for more Deliver Us the Moon, and we are here in Reinhold on our way to Tombaugh. It's not clear to me whether this is Tombaugh or whether this is just another stop. I don't actually remember the loop diagram that well. Hopefully it's here somewhere. Uh, either way, last time we got here, uh, I'm almost positive we can't go back because as we were coming in, there was a bunch of falling debris and just some quick time events, and it just seemed like the tracks were really messed up after we had, um, well, behind us, really. So we're here. Uh, let's just take a quick look around. What's this? Moon Man, okay. Moon Man, hope and despair. When the astronaut uncovers the grave truth behind the deserted moon settlements, he finds himself hesitant. Greener pastures on distant planets? Is it betrayal or wisdom? Okay, and of course, uh, that's, you know, I mean, the, the storyline in these comic books follows the game, more or less. And as we all have learned over the past couple of episodes, uh, Project Outward is basically leaving the moon behind to go... Yeah. I was going to look at the teddy bear, but hold on. Uh, tea Party. In spite of WSA efforts to reduce the mental and physical burden on lunar colonists to acceptable levels, not all colonists are left untouched by the conditions on the moon. The events at Huygens and the solitary existence at Reinhold seem to have left their mark on the base operator's mind. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, there's a Wilson reference right there. Castaway. Yeah, it's not really a tea party. I mean, they're having adult drinks, let's be honest. To whoever reads this, find me. I didn't go crazy like these guys. Sarah. Uh, yeah, and then the other thing that's happening, obviously, is that uh, Sarah from the Pearson Space Station, uh, one of the, the engineers that got sent down here to figure out what the heck was going on, uh, got stranded here and has been making her way to Huygens as well. And the last we'd heard was that she'd been at Outpost 1, she grabbed uh, a lunar buggy. Okay, let's just look at this because Ace is going to want us to look at it. Uh, and then she was headed here, but we don't know what happened to her afterwards. Water, MacArthur. Nothing. Communication's dead. What the hell is going on? What, what the... All power in the tracks is off as well. I don't know. Let's be quick. We have to get to Moon Hub with that helium before MacArthur and the evacuees arrive. We'll split up. You get a report on the tracks and look for a way to repower the monorail platforms. I'll find the operator to board the train for evac. Let's go. Wait up. There he is. Window at your six control center. I have eyes on him. Go check on the train. I'll take care of this. Okay, out of the blue, while the events of the Copernicus outpost unfold, MacArthur's second outpost task force reaches Reinhold Crater Base. Upon arrival, it appears that they can't leave. The monorail station has, be has, be has gone offline for unknown reasons. Unable to communicate with the first task force and with only little time left to complete their mission, they split up to secure their objectives. Recorded five hours before the blackout, so obviously it didn't go... The monorail didn't get knocked out because of the blackout. Uh, two quick things. One, I'm pretty sure I misspoke because I think outside in the monorail station itself, we see Sarah's suit. I think we saw it last time. And also, now that we're here, remember Edgar. I'm, I'm almost positive Edgar is the guy who runs this place and who's gone a little insane. Uh, Edgar was the guy uh, corresponding with Frank from Outpost 1. I guess we're going here. Uh, saying that he's not going to let the second team leave uh, without some answers because he's been... He has quote unquote figured out what MacArthur was up to. So he probably powered down the monorail, and that's probably him that was hiding in the control center. Anything here? No? To protect and prosper security cameras. Well, that's ominous. And we got another one here. Another ace transmission. Yeah, before we hit these monitors, let's just see. I'm almost positive this is going to be Edgar, and we can look at these billboards. Hey! Hey, you there! A malfunction has occurred at the Tombow facility. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Train got stranded at the station, though. How can we get the tracks powered again? We're in a rush. Why are you here? Have you been watching me with that thing? Are you going to the domes? At Huygens? Everyone Colonists, we're here for your safety. Planning. Official orders of the Lunar Council. Especially the Council. Hey, come in. Hey, I got bad news. We're not going to get a run in. Any luck up there? The no, shadows. just a nut job. Quit the riddles, old man. How can we get to Moonhop ASAP? If the trains are out, 
You have to take the beetles. They'll carry you across. If you get out of the crater at all, of course. The sands are rough out here. Broke a lot of beetle legs trying to cross the hose. But there's a path. There used to be one. I know it. Driven it many times. The rovers. Get back inside. I found something. Bring the package. Interesting. Okay, let's read this quick and then we'll talk. MacArthur's second task force finds out that the monorail station on Reinhold Crater Base has been actively sabotaged. Anxious to make it to Moonhub before the secret of outward launch, the task force officer discovers another way out of the base while the rambling operator mutters conspiracy theories to himself about the Huygens malfunction and the Lunar Council four hours before the blockout. So uh, there we are. That's Edgar right there, who's gone completely off the deep end. He sabotaged the monorails and uh, that secret package was the helium, the helium-3, the, the reactor fuel that is then going to power the rocket. Okay, Edgar's hunch. This is what he was writing about for to Frank. Much like Maria Gonzalez, a fellow survivor of the Huygens malfunction, Reinhold operator Edgar Davis has been looking for answers. His bewildering findings blame Rosa Laverde for the Huygens crash sleep malfunction and establishes a suspicious link between Lunar Council activity and the disappearance of helium-3. Okay, let's, uh, let's actually turn off the flashlight because I can't read very well like that. Tomba per... Oh, Tomba present, helium-3 disappearances. This is... This is it. It has to be. It is... I've been taking the... I mean, this is a lot of scribbles. I can't... What is it for? Agree it is the only... Registers the same reason. William MacArthur, what did... What if her council members, or what if the council members... Other than more, oh, what if other council members other than MacArthur were in on? It's a lot of stuff. Eigen's meltdown 2048. Why overload the reactor? Really, Rosa Laverde? I know you. I know you. What are you? I know what you did. I know what you are. You're falling in. You're okay. Lunar Council. The something of security is. Yeah, he tried to delrace a lot of this, because obviously he's stark raving insane, but... Well, he's figured something out, I guess. Alright, let's see, what else do you have? It all goes here. All the unexplained shipments of material in Helium-3 end up in Copernicus. Why? Well, we know, we ourselves know, obviously Edgar didn't. Okay, so here it is. We landed at uh, Copernicus, then we went to the outpost one, then we went to Reinhold. I see. So it is a separate facility, and then Tomba is later on. Okay. What else do we have? Rosa Laverde. All pointing to Bill MacArthur, Isaac Johansson. Checks. Check for something, something. Okay. And a bunch of photos with time signatures of... I'm assuming, what are these? Yeah. Yeah, I want to know that too. It can't be for communication. We already have radar communication without them. Well, that's interesting. I was wondering about those, and we didn't really figure that out. We didn't really see what that what they were for, I guess. Okay, and I'm assuming those photos are him tracking the shipments of Helium-3. Let's see what else we have. Oh, there's nothing here. Well, let's turn on the flashlight just... Okay, that's the ASC poster we see all over the place. MPT network offline, station power very low, monorail station offline. Well, we're not going to get that online, I'm assuming. At least not from inside, based on what Edgar was mumbling about. Same thing. Oh, hello. We got these buggies. I'm assuming Edgar calls them beetles. We've got O2, which does not fill me with confidence. That's fine, and we probably have stuff down there as well. Okay. Uh, let's turn off the flashlight. I can't. Not while I'm in the menu. Okay, so let's diagnose the MPT. Unable to connect. MPT pillar 01 not aligned. Okay, we've done that before. Station power insufficient for long distance control. Access moon surface through vehicle bay. Okay, open the bay doors. Opening. How would I open the bay door? Well, I... Uh, is that why we don't have... Tab. Direct power to MPT pillar 1 by aligning MPT pillar 2 with it. Alright, well... Fine. I'm assuming that means that this place no longer has air. Which is just... 
Peachy Keen. Okay, fine. But there is no other way to get there, and I can't go through there, so I'm assuming airlock and surface ops. All right, Edgar, you really made this not easy for me. And that leaves the question of where Sarah is. I mean, if all this stuff is, if we're the first to do it, oh, we don't have O2, there we go. If we're the first to do it, that means that Sarah didn't do it. There's a lot of O2. Stung by a scorpion, they took my map, only I know the way for the beetle to cross. Cowards. Okay, well, we've got time to explore this place, I think, and time to watch that ace transmission. Airlock is closed. We're at two and a half minutes, that's fine. That's our ride, but we're not gonna go... Huh. Do we have to release it? Kinda looks like it, right? No, I guess we enter it. That's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, because it'll deposit us on the surface, right. What are you doing up there? Get down. Okay, more helium-3. More helium-3, so maybe the package never reached... Oh my god. Wait, if the package didn't reach the starship, then did they manage to get to where they're supposed to go? Okay, we've got one pillar, one pillar. Right, that one's offline. That one's online. Huh. Okay. What else do we have here? Yeah, that's a question though. If they if they got waylaid here and their package was the fuel, then they did they get enough fuel? I wonder. Okay, let's uh got a minute and a half. Let's just watch this and then we'll get more O2 from there. Evac two to evac one come in. We need to transport the helium to Moonhop by rover since we're not going to get the train running before the MPT shuts down. Evac 1, come in. Do you copy? Damn it. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> For the first time, I know everything. No more secrets. And all it took was one little switch. That was it all along. Don't mind him. Let's get out of here. I just had to see. See what you were up to. And, and now I know. Just for the fuel, helium-3. The ticket out of here. You stranded us here? Just leave him. He's not worth it. We've got to go. <laughs> Simply a flakeless switch. And you did the rest. You have no idea what you've got yourself mixed up in. And what you've put at risk. ASDL-30. Don't. I have made crowd control protocol. No! Ah! Oop, we're at 20 seconds. Let's, uh, let's grab some O2 real quick. Ooh! Okay, now let's... Edgar's Hunch, Blackout, Sarah's Journey, Abandonment? Into the Dark, here it is. With no, li with no time left to spare, the Task Force seizes rovers to rejoin MacArthur and Moonhub before outward launches. It becomes clear that the base operators searching for answers disabled the monorail station to strand them at Reinhold. After the operator realizes that MacArthur secretly peddled massive amounts of Helium-3 to power his outward exodus, the infuriated officer commands his ASC to strike. Two hours before the blackout. Perfect. Okay, well, there's the goon squad. Let's just get in. <laughs> I'm not going to grab more O2 bottles. Uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I see. I'm not actually controlling this. I was like, I've, I'm pretty sure I'm not controlling the claw machine. But okay, that's a big old magnet lifting us up. Now putting us down. Alright, thanks. I'm gonna assume you're doing this, Ace. Boom. Stop. Hmm. Let's, you know what, let's go to the blue diamond first. Let's actually not go to the blue diamond. I'm, I'm in a rover, I got O2. Let's, let's just look around here, right? Let's just drive a quick, let's just do a little quick driving here. Anything worth looking at, you think? Here. Well, let's see, right? I got three minutes of O2, and then I can always get back into the buggy. The beetle as uh, Edgar would call it. Oh, hello. Out of order. 
Drilling activities shut down. All drilling moved to Tombaugh by order of Isaac Johansson. I guess this is where they drill for helium-3. Anything here? No. Let's see what's on the ground. Yeah? Rods? Core rods, maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's get in the buggy again and just drive to the next one. I just want to see what else is there and maybe check out this. It's interesting. Oh, that's the monorail track. That is one heck of a broken tower. I'm not going near that unless I absolutely have to. Okay. So that's one. Let's just check out the others. Get out. Sorry, guys. I'm just curious. Because... Always possible that there's something interesting around here, you know? One of those games. Nice. And I love being on the surface of the moon. I can jump pretty high. Anything? No, just more core rods. Drilling activities, Isaac Johansson. Okay. I don't know why you would put the sign on the back, but... Oh, hello. What's over there? You see, guys? That, like, broken rover? We'll go there before... Again, we'll go there before the towers. I'm assuming the towers, maybe that, that'll trigger something. Who knows? Stop, stop, stop. Get out. Okay. But we are in a crater, and the entire facility, if we remember when we came in, is... I mean, you access through underground. I mean, I'm not gonna look behind there unless I have to. More core rods. Alright, let's look here. Double check, yeah, Isaac Johansson, fine. Alright, before we head to that tower... Which looks, thankfully, intact, not like the other one. Maybe that's why it has a red diamond on it? I don't know. But let's go check out that rover crash site. Or the broken cro uh, broken rover cr uh, site. Okay, so we gotta align it with the base just like we did at Copernicus. I like that. Again, you're seeing t uh, mechanics come back into play. You learn them under more controlled conditions. Interesting. There are a couple of rovers here. Is this where the shipment went? Because these look like helium-3. Whoa, 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 let's just set up. Right? And he said that he didn't, that nobody else really knew the path. Okay, this looks good. It looks fine. Get out. <laughs> oh my god, broken wheels? Yeah, this is all... This is broken down, this is helium-3. Okay. Is there anything for me to look at here, though? Hmm. Not really. But it is a little bit of... I mean, I'm going to assume that this is them. I'm going to assume that this is EVAC mission... To, uh, EVAC Squad 2. Which, again, raises the serious... Yeah, I'm with you, Ace. It raises a serious question about... Did these guys get the fuel? Because if they didn't get the fuel, then, I mean, then outward doesn't work. Then does that mean that MacArthur actually launched? Is He's crazy enough, right? Given what he's already done, it's not like he can just strand everybody, you know. He can't afford to keep people on the moon. Because there's no way. Okay, let's go to this tower. Um, and so he could have taken off without proper, without enough fuel, but that means that he wouldn't be able to reach the destination that he's trying to get to. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Also, at the top, you see we have vents, which means that this is going to be another one of those, like that second, um, we call it, like the second uh, tower at Copernicus, where we're going to have to be a little pressed for O2. Hey. Yep, get out. All good, all good. Let's get in there. We've got three minutes. Three minutes is enough for down here. Three minutes may not necessarily be enough for up there. Okay. Interesting. Ace, you got me? Yeah, there's a working one underneath. Means 
Let's do it from here. Nice, perfect. Uh, before we go in, though, is there anything I should look at? Anything worth looking at, I guess. No. I was just, I was looking at this pulled out... These pulled out components and thinking whether this is just some sort of, la you know... Uh, jumping puzzle or something. And I hit jump for no reason. Okay. Now, again, quickly looking around, because this isn't Copernicus, and I don't put it past Edgar to have hidden some readables, let's say. Some little bits of story. Okay, now we're here. Let's just go ahead and jump up here. Slightly differently oriented. Maybe? Am I wrong? No, I'm wrong. I just, I'm misremembering the way that the original ones were. It's exactly the same. Uh, yeah. Fine. Let's go up this ladder, um... Anywhere. There it is. Man, I would have been better off just jumping this railing, but okay, fine. Yeah, and there's the venting. Okay, we're gonna do this again. Oh, ho, ho, they know. <laughs> they know that we would expect this. Ugh, and this is a different sequence. So, no, 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 I'm in between, thank you. Relax. Relax, relax, relax. Do that. There's the ladder, I'm at a minute. Oh, 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 oh. I see. I see, I see, that's what was getting me. Jump. Perfect. A little singed, but overall pretty good. I think you can die in this game. I think. I mean, they wouldn't do this if you couldn't. You know? Okay. Let's get in the chair. The chair will refill our O2. Okay. Now we're up here. I'm with you, Ace. And we aim it at the monorail facility, I'm guessing. Probably not the other tower, because the other tower is busted. The easiest one to do is this. Uh, there it is. Thinking it would be f it would be a little bit further. Out of range! Oh no. Oh no, you guys. We gotta go to the busted one. Okay. We saw what that looked like. Wait a minute, what? Three minutes? Three minutes to what? Is it gonna collapse in three minutes? No! No, 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 come on. This is not cool. By any stretch of the imagination. Three minutes to collapse, are you kidding me? Come on! Oh, let's go, let's go. Now let's take it a little wide so I can open up that door with the with the wheels. Just keep it calm. And get it done. Open her up. Go inside. Come on, we gotta run. This is not this is not one of those times where we can just take our time. Let's go. Tower's gonna collapse. I don't care what's inside. Let's just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. See, I'm feeling it rock. Two minutes. Man, I like this. This is cool. Arrowing, but cool. Let's go, come on. There we go. Up. Up, 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 up. There's no time to lose. We've got less time than I... Ooh, there we go. Then I have O2. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Jump. Nice. I don't think I, I climb this. I think I just go ahead and jump up here. Perfect. Anything? No. 
Nobody cares. Let's go. Jump. There we go. Climb up. I got a minute and 15. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There is another level. Is the chair even gonna work? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh my god, yes it is. Let's go. Up, 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 up. A minute. A minute. Let's go. Come on, you stupid machine. Let's go. Oh boy, turn faster. Turn... Faster. There we go. It's not perfect, but it's in the range. Bam. That's enough power, right? Yes. Perfect. Yes. All right, we did it, guys. Uh. Oh, no. Okay. Well, this is another follow the breadcrumb trail. What is this? I'm not getting a full 30 anymore? Are you kidding me? I'm getting like 10. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is all really bad. Okay. I'm going in through that door. Because we can't obviously go up through the magnet before, but we're gonna do this slowly. I'm not gonna run. I don't want to risk losing or running out of O2. God. Tell me there's more O2 inside. Yes. Excellent. Like that. And we're in. Oh, thank God we're in. I could have been far more harrowing, thank god. <laughs> okay. We have anything here worth anything? No, it's just an elevator? Okay, let's go up. Alright. That was cool, though. All, all things considered, that whole sequence was really cool. The time limit set on it was pretty fun. Okay, we're going through the airlock. We should be back in the facility. No. Oh, that's right. We're in the vehicle bay. And we've looked at all the stuff in the vehicle bay, which means we can go back out. Activate monorails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing. No, we saw that already. Okay. Let's go back, activate the monorail, and get out of here. Hit the button. I also like the sound design. I like that when there's a vacuum, all the sound basically muffles out. Which... Fairly accurate, I think, right? A four. Okay, so activate the monorail. Except for what you would hear echoing in your own suit. Monorail is online. They evacuated? No, 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 no. This can't be right. Leave? The colony will fail without them. And Earth. How could they all be so goddamn selfish? What were they thinking? How can they be so. Warning. Tombo reactor failing. Outward protocol in effect. Evacuate all facilities. Yes, I know they evacuated. I know! I'm alone. 
Tombow reactor capacity at 10%. It's still going? Alex, we have to go. This is... this would make things right. We could fix this. We can fix this. Okay. Just follow the tracks along the pillars. You'll make it to Tombow. You'll make it, Sarah. Sarah, I'll find you. Wait, are we Rolf? <laughs> I mean, that'd be great. That'd be pretty cool. That also explains why we're so invested. I mean, towards the end of that, other than the fact that you hear Rolf, uh, we're really invested in the hologram of Sarah. Okay, so here we go. Cryosleep activation. Outward arc. It is an arc. Beacon. Receiving distress signal. End signal. Okay, so there were two arcs. One of them... There were three pods. I guess the ships were inside the pods. I'm just thinking about what we just saw. Right? There are the three gold domes. Two of them launched. The third one didn't, probably because they didn't have the extra helium-3. It looks like one of them has a problem here. One of them just drops off of any sort of signal range. I don't know what this is, but sure. Okay, let's see if we can listen to it. Okay. I mean, look, if this is a if this is a thing about comeuppance, then I mean, it looks like they got theirs, but I don't know how happy I am about that. And then there's this. Scattered trace of information originated from the lunar colony on-site data recovery should yield insight. I mean, we have everything else. We do not have the data recovery and we're at Tomba. Control to Fortuna One. I'm not sure if you're still there. The dust storms, they've gotten worse. Everything has. The solution has to be a Tombo. Whether it's the reactor or the MPT transmitter itself, I can't tell. But we're at the end of the line, Wolf. We could use some good news down here. I wish I, I could I wish I could help you.
travel soon. Sure. Okay, well... I'm going to leave you all on a literal cliffhanger because we are hanging off of what is essentially a cliff and we will pick this up next time. This episode has been crazy. Great revelation about us being Rolf. Very interesting mechanics. I am fascinated by what we're going to find out. I'm wondering if we're going to find out more about Outward because it does look like they were arcs. Uh, I think I mentioned in my comments that I thought it was going to be an exoplanet, not like Mars or Europa or something. Still question outstanding, but yeah, I hope we've learned more. Obviously, we're going to find out more about Sarah and why, despite being confident that she could try and fix something, I mean, obviously she didn't, so we're going to find out what happened to her, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, let me know that I'm doing something right, let me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts on this game, you think I missed something, you think I should be playing this in some other way, by all means, leave a comment. And in any case, I'll see you all next time. Ba-da-da, 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 